As the leaders in EV charging in Australia, we've seen Australia's public charging infrastructure consistently grow and evolve, especially over the last decade. Every year it gets easier to set off in your EV, knowing you'll arrive on time and with plenty of charge left. We wanted to share some helpful tips that we've learned over the years to help get you the most out of your next EV road trip. As well as being a favorite pastime, road trips are a great way to further enjoy your EV while exploring what our country has to offer. Planning is an essential and fun part of long EV journeys. Using apps like ChargeFox, PlugShare, Google Maps, or even your in-car satellite navigation will help you plan your route and assess how far the journey is and where the nearest charges will be. Other resources like Better Route Planner let you enter your EV model and destination and the site or app will show you your best route options and even gives you suggestions on where to take longer planned stops to maximize your trip. Something to keep in mind is that public chargers will charge at different speeds and may even have different types of charger plugs. Apps like ChargeFox and PlugShare do a great job at showing you what type of charger and charger plug is available at different locations. As a general rule, DC rapid or ultra rapid chargers can deliver hundreds of kilometers of range within minutes, while AC chargers will require a longer stop to accomplish the same. But please keep in mind that all charging speeds are subject to how much charging power your specific EV can accept. It's always best to double check your manufacturer's specifications for speeds and rates of charge. When using public chargers, it's good to note that depending on charger type, there may be instances where you need to supply your own cable in order to connect to your vehicle to the charger before you can start charging. Here's a good rule of thumb. DC chargers, whether rapid or ultra rapid, will always have a cable ready for you to plug into your vehicle. This is mainly due to its size and amount of power it's able to provide in a short amount of time. AC fast chargers can be found in one of two types, either as a tethered unit that has a cable attached, or as is more common and universal, a socketed type. These universal chargers allow for any make and model of EV, whether an early or late model, by requiring you to bring your own cable as suited to your vehicle. Simply follow the local instructions to activate your charger. Insert the universal type two end into the charger socket and the other into your vehicle's charging port. Once charging is complete, simply do the reverse and stow your public charging cable in your car so it's ready for its next use. Public charging cables are different from the included portable charger that comes with most EVs. So be sure to check if your vehicle has one of these included. Alternatively, these cables are readily available for purchase and come in a variety of lengths and ratings. When charging at a public charging station, they're usually managed by different charging networks all around the country. So it pays to understand ahead of time how you might need to activate or pay for using a public charger. The next thing we should discuss is how to activate and use a public charger and the cost of doing so. A charger is in unsupervised or free to use mode where you simply plug in and start charging without any further interaction. The charger can also be in a free to use mode, but may require the use of an app via services like that of ChargeFox to activate charging sessions. This helps operators understand the level of EV demand. There's the pay to use via an app, again, like that of ChargeFox, where you can check the rates to charge and activate your charge session. Lastly, and more commonly, for fleet operators or for those in apartments with shared charges, there is RFID card access, which are set up to be billed back to an account. For DC rapid or ultra rapid charging, where you have a Japanese vehicle, chances are it will come with a CHAdeMO port. For everyone else, including Tesla, they'll most likely come with a CC S2 plug or suitable adapter. When it comes to DC public charging, almost all chargers have a CHAdeMO and CC S2 options, but it's a good idea to check ahead of time. Before hitting the open road, it's good to practice to have your EV fully charged to ensure you have access to the maximum range available. Once you're well on your way, built-in driving aids are also helpful to maximize your trip. Selecting eco driving modes help ensure you get the most range between charging sessions and can even reduce charging times as a result once you reach your next charging destination. 
Other considerations that can impact overall driving range can also be the environment. Just as with people, extreme heat or cold can play a role on battery performance, requiring extra power to keep the battery system at a comfortable temperature. The same can also be said for terrain in rugged or mountainous regions, as this consumes more power to drive the wheels consuming additional power. In cases of extreme temperature, this can also impact the rate at which DC rapid stations are able to deliver charge back into your battery. Once again, this process happens in the background automatically with your vehicle, ensuring maximum power is received in line with your current environmental conditions. All of these factors are completely normal and are automatically managed by your EV in the background. After a long day on the road, it's also a great idea to book accommodation that has access on site to EV charging facilities that allow for the car's battery to be charged overnight. Present day, lots of accommodation options are now able to offer either AC or DC charging solutions, depending on the region. Otherwise, asking if charging is possible by plugging into a standard 240 volt power outlet with your portable charger may also be an available option. If you have a favorite spot that you like to stay, it's a great idea to call them ahead of time and ask if they've considered installing a charging station for their guests. It's a great way to get the EV movement message out there. For those of you who want to go even further, third-party solutions like that of high-power portable chargers allow you to take advantage of other charging opportunities at locations that have three-phase power points, which are dotted throughout the country. These include showgrounds, automotive garages, even some outback pubs. These portable solutions have the unique ability to interchange plug types, allowing them to plug into anything from a domestic power outlet right through to an industrial three-phase power socket. You can get the equivalent charging speed of a fast AC destination charger, allowing you to go further and explore more. <music> Lastly, we wanna go through a few myths of EV battery use and road trips. Like that you can save on battery life for long trips by not using the air conditioner or not playing music too loud, keeping your lights off for as long as possible, keeping windows up and the sunroof closed. While it's true that everything used to operate an EV is ultimately powered by your vehicle's main or traction battery, the energy used for these functions would be considered a minimal impact to consumption compared to the amount of power being used to drive an EV at speed. In some vehicles that offer economical driving modes, these also help increase range by limiting but not disabling modern comforts such as heating and cooling. Before wrapping up, here are the main points to take away from today to make sure your next EV road trip is fun and hassle-free. Plan your trip and understand your charging options and when best to take your longer stops to maximize your charging. Make sure you pack your charger cord just in case you need it. And once you know where you might charge your EV, make sure you have the correct payment system ready to go so you can maximize your charging time. If you would like any further information about what we've covered here, please get in touch or visit us at jetcharge.com.au. And remember to use the discount code in the video notes to receive a discount on your next purchase. We look forward to creating an electric future together. Oh,